What's going on smart people? As you saw in the last video, I'm going to be on the Discovery Channel very very soon. I actually recorded that video about a week or so ago, but I just got the okay to post it uh, about an hour ago. Now today is Monday, July 30th, and I'm probably going to be talking about certain details of the recording stuff as I'm allowed to say it throughout the video, because tomorrow, July 31st, recording starts, and I'm actually about an hour away from catching my flight to the recording place. Now just to add a little bit of context before I go catch the flight, the Discovery Channel assigned me eight stories, eight different naturally occurring phenomena that they wanted someone with a physics background to be able to talk about and, and give their opinion on. So it's not like I'm hosting it or anything, it's going to be more of like an interview style for the TV show What on Earth, and I'm going to be showing you as much as I can in this video here. But I need to stop talking and finish packing because my flight's in an hour. Also, did I mention I broke my leg? I'm probably going to end up taking this microphone off here, as well as the little bendy, the, I guess that's coming off anyways. I'm going to take this off to travel with, just because I'll be carrying my laptop bag and my duffel bag, and I don't want to have to carry this stuff around also with like a broken leg. That'll just be super inconvenient. So the audio is going to suffer just a little bit, but I'll put everything back on once I get to the hotel. just got to the hotel, I'm exhausted now, and I gotta go over my notes for tomorrow, make sure I'm completely compa compared, prepared. Uh, so tomorrow's gonna be the bigger day where I start talking about the stuff more specifically, so I'll see you then. Today is the day of the recording. It's about 7.30 in the morning. I'm trying to be quiet because these walls are like paper thin. Uh, but as you can see here, the room is pretty much a mess now. I spent all night going over the material, making sure I feel comfortable talking about everything. Because it's eight stories. It's eight things I need to be able to explain. It's kind of terrifying. In about 20 minutes or so, I'm going to get my Uber and then go over. I think we're recording in the Airbnb. Some Airbnb. Uh, the one. I'm going to get my stuff together and see if I can't find some coffee. Uber should be here any minute now. Made it to the B&B. This is what not just YouTube quality looks like. <laughs> More than just the natural lighting. <laughs> we are a couple hours into shooting, have not messed up a single time. It, they said it's the first time anyone's ever done that. Just kidding, I don't stop messing up. I am sweating, just look at these big lights. But look how dope this microphone is. I need to step my game up with the YouTube videos. Uh, but I think we have about five stories left. We've gone through three of them so far. And I've been here since eight. Right now it is currently... <laughs> it's already noon. And so it's taken four hours for us to get through three stories because I've messed up that many times. But I think I'm getting the hang of it. They tell me this microphone and stand alone cost like $1,000. I don't want to know how much this camera costs. Just take a look at this camera. Just look at it. That's looking at me. <laughs> oh god. It's about one o'clock now and we're taking a break to order lunch, but I think we're gonna try to get one more story in before lunch gets here. As long as I don't mess up that many times. Uh -huh. We are now four stories down, four more to go. Now it is time for lunch. What did you get for lunch? I got a season. I got pizza. Okay, so we got four stories left. How long do you think it'll take us to, to get four stories done? Another like four hours? At least. At least. But then remember we have the B-roll and some reverses. Mm. So you'll have to do a bit of acting. Some acting. We are finally on to our last story. We've been recording for almost nine hours now. Still have not butchered a single line, have gotten everything correct, right? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. No, they've been a very good sport. I've, I've stumbled. Have you seen that, uh, have you seen Bruce Almighty where Steve Carell jumbles all over his words? That, that's been me this entire time. <clears throat> And that is a wrap on the story stuff. I think we're going to finish up with a little bit of B-roll and I think some acting. And then I catch my plane in about an hour and a half. So that was good timing. Here's the new setup. 
Picture perfect. And we are done recording. How long did that take us? A long, long time. Eight stories. At least eight hours? No, ten hours. <laughs> ten hours? Ten hours for eight stories. That is record-breaking time. They've, they've assured me it's the fastest they've ever seen. Thank you guys for this experience. This was so great. If you ever need the science communicator again, I'm your guy. The Uber is outside, though. You guys take care. Thank you again for everything. Thank you. See you guys in the next clip. You know, when I agreed to do this, I had no idea that I'd be like concerned for my life. I mean, look, look at this monster. In the last clip, you might have noticed a little bit of rain outside of the plane. Well, that rain corresponded to my flight being delayed about an hour and a half, which then corresponded to my layover flight. Well, it corresponded to me missing that. And uh, there were no other flights tonight, which meant that I have to wait until tomorrow morning to fly back home, which is why I am now in a hotel room. So that was annoying, but it wasn't like enough to ruin the trip or anything like that. I still had a great time. So throughout the past day, we recorded a little over 10 hours, recorded eight stories, and something was actually a bit different. See, I was under the impression that I was just responsible for being the person who communicated the science, which was true, but I also did quite a bit more than that. I was responsible for walking people through the story as a whole which I was not too prepared for. But I still think it went really well. And Jack and Lauren, the people who I worked with today, were super patient because I would find myself stumbling over my words. They would ask things like, now, how would you feel if that was you in this situation? And for some reason, whenever they asked those kinds of questions, my mind just went blank. And I was like, I would feel bad. <laughs> But we got everything done. They said that the episodes that I should be in might be airing around winter time, so I'm super excited for that. But I'm gonna wrap up this video now because currently it is one in the morning and I need to edit this and then post this and then my flight is at 9 a.m. So sorry that this is gonna be a little bit late. Let me know in the comment section if you think this is going to turn me into a physics meme. And I'll see you guys there.